Hi and welcome to another episode of my podcast. This is the third episode. If you have not listened to the previous two episodes, you can check it out. So today we are going to be talking about Android. So in the previous two videos, we talked about Linux. Sorry, not videos. Episodes. In the previous two episodes, you listened about Linux. Today we are going to be talking about Android. So Android is an open source operating system. but it is not completely open source we will come to that and i am an android user i have been my android user since i have i started using mobile phones and that is not way too long ago since i had my own mobile phone it may be like 4 years 5 years maybe not l- more than that so from the time i started using mobile phones i was really fascinated about routing i want i am always that kind of person i want to check things out i want to take things in my control so i am i was checking about routing my phone the first phone that i had was a vivo v22 i forgot really i don't know that number vivo v22 maybe that uh, did not have an option to routed then i had an uh, option to exchange so i exchanged it with an lg g7 which had an option to route uh, in the european version not in the indian version so i could not route then i then that phone had some unfortunate accidents that phone broke then i bought an mi a3 that was an android one phone from Xiaomi Android one is a project where uh, Android manufacturers gave you the pixel experience on any for now that project is dead but Android one phones were really easy to unlock the bootloader it was very easy to root that phone so i rooted it but then i made a stupid mistake and there is an anti rollback feature in Xiaomi phones where if you move to a different operator sorry if you move to one version of android for example you move from android 10 to android 11 then if you go back again to android 10 it will lock your bootloader and your phone would be dead then i tried in some uh, some of their uh, service centers but uh, nothing worked so i abandoned that phone then i bought a redmi note 9 pro max So that's the phone that I'm using till today. It's uh, more than two years since I purchased that phone. I purchased it when it was launched. So now they are in Redmi Note 11 series. So it was two years ago when I bought that phone, and that phone is really fantastic. I have a YouTube channel. I record my videos using that phone. I use that phone for everything, and I have rooted that phone. Now Redmi phones are one of the few phones. Our phones from Xiaomi are one of the few devices that give you the option to. root your device so like 5 7 years or maybe 10 years ago when android was starting up routing was very common because android was not very good android was uh, terrible android was terrible especially at uh, battery uh, battery backup it used to not last for one day it never lasted for one day it lasted for 4 or 5 hours then you have to charge it again we did not have fast chargers it was a really pain in the b so it was a terrible experience with android moreover with root you can customize your phone you can install a lot of uh, cool softwares you can do a lot of things with your phone you can take your phone in your control but nowadays things have improved software has improved especially battery life has improved uh, tremendously you don't have to install root to make your phone to go to hibernation immediately after you lock the screen to extend the battery life of your phone so now things have changed and the interest in root rooting your device has also come down but i don't know how people who used to use phone with root can live without rooting it because i cannot do that i have to root my phones if i don't root my phones i will go crazy so i install custom roms as of now i am on four linear joys so it's a fantastic uh, uh, fantastic custom rom and the great thing about that is i get more than 2 days of battery life in my phone i repeat more than 2 days of battery life in my phone which is 2 years old the phone is 2 years old but still i get 2 days battery life and that's thanks to the custom rom with the proprietary rom that comes along with the redmi phones you are never going to get 
two days of battery life and mine is a sort of a medium usage not a very heavy usage i'm not a gamer but i watch a lot of videos and i do a lot of uh, texting i watch so much stuff i read so much things in my mobile phone when i am outside i listen to podcast at least for two two and a half hours a day but still it gives me more than two days of battery life now let's come back so routing has been on the decline now there are two reasons for that one as i already told the android operating system in itself has been improved it has improved a lot compared to what it was 10 years ago that's bound to happen for an operating system that is popular among people that has been so successful it won't be so successful if there has not been so much improvements so it has improved a lot the second thing is google is google wants to keep a lot of control on the android users so they are against routing they don't support routing they are always against it so they are coming up with so many different steps which maybe they are not doing it against routing maybe they are doing it just for the security but still it is bad for the people who want to route their phones for example safety net access uh, attestations and now there is something called as hardware attestation if i am telling it correct so that is coming up and if that comes up they are telling it will be practically impossible to route your phone and use your banking apps and even now using my banking apps with my routed phone it's difficult it's not impossible but it's difficult so i have to install magisk so for root to root my phone and then i have to install a magisk module called universal uh, safety net fix then i have to reboot i have to enable sigisk i have to enable deny list then i have to go to configure deny list and i have to uh, hide the apps that don't want to see magisk and plus also i have to hide the magic cap so these are all the hoops that i have to jump to just get my uh, banking apps to work so banking apps are very important so if this life that is podcasting and doing youtube videos that becomes my life i won't care about all this banking app especially the upi apps unite i don't know uni united uh, payment interface i think that's the full form of upi so mainly upi apps i have to use them because i work in a school and there is so many transactions there i cannot live without that if i am living in the outside world if i am working for somebody else then that becomes a real compulsory thing so if, if i am doing this content creation full time then maybe i won't have to use it now let's come back so android has not been as free as it used to be so android open source operating system when people talk about android as an open source operating system they tell it it's an operating system where you can look at the source code but you cannot change too much one more thing that hinders a lot of people to move to routing and especially there is a lot of dependence on google that even though android is an open source operating system it can work without google services most of the apps are tied to google play services without google play services most of your apps won't work ola to book uh, cabs that's an opera that's an app that to book cabs that won't work without google play services why i don't know rapido won't work without google play services spotify won't work without google play services why spotify has a web app i can use the spotify app i am not a great spotify user i am just telling the examples i don't have a spotify subscription or anything like that i use it for some other purpose which i cannot tell it on this video if you want to know that you can contact me personally i will tell it so spotify doesn't allow you to use their android app if you don't have google play services installed it's crazy why do they need why are other companies so dependent on google play services i don't know so that's a big thing so now i am using a custom rom for clinia joes it does not have any google apps i don't use the google play store i use open source alternatives for that i use aurora store if i want something again uh, i am working outside so i will need some applications i use whatsapp because that's the way of communicating people don't understand don't use whatsapp use something else no they don't listen so i am forced to do that because i am working outside and i have to eat food i have a family so what what we can do if 
as i am already telling that if this life this podcasting and you doing youtube videos becomes my prime source of income then i will ditch all those things so let's come back to the point i am always going off track with my life now let's come back so so i am using a fork lineage os which is a vanilla uh, custom rom so now what is a vanilla custom rom a vanilla custom rom does not come with google play services installed means you will not get anything related to google now with this phone making things work is very very difficult most of the things won't work gmail app definitely won't work and i also as i already told ola won't work what is the problem of ola why does ola need google play services to work i really have no idea they are giving so many reasons for that why they need google play services but those reasons are really really bad they are not the real reasons so google owning android they need to have a lot of control over you so after each iteration of android update after each version of android comes out the way to uh, the way to uh, root your phone to make your phone your own is becoming a lot and lot and lot lot difficult and uh, to make things worse i don't know what happened in the background the person who develops uh, magisk john wu john wu i tell i think i'm telling his name uh, right so john something that's his name he went to work for google now it's his personal wish i don't want to comment on his decisions but now that is making life more and more and more and more difficult so every time i am really afraid what will be the fate of rooting your android phone when the next version of android comes now we are in android 12 i am on android 12 l next android 13 will be out in another 4 or 5 months so what is what are the new challenges that are going to be on there is there is definitely going to be some way but it is making routing much and much and much more difficult now routing yes i want to route my phones routing my phones is very very important to me but more importantly android is losing its open source status it is still an open source operating system but you have to use some closed source backends to use this open source software this open source operating system now that is not at all good that is not at all good that's not how open source software should work so for example i am using a linux distribution i am using arch linux and arch linux should not force me to use an open and a closed source uh, software or closed source something it should not be imposed on me it should not be made compulsory so that i can get a better experience maybe i am forced to use an nvidia driver because i made that stupid decision of buying an nvidia uh, nvidia graphics card when i already know that nvidia and linux don't go along with each other then i have to install a proprietary driver that option it should be provide if it is provided by the linux distribution developers it's good but it should not be forced on me that's what is happening to android so android was a fantastic operating system now you can see so so many people when a new android comes they get very excited they do lot of videos in youtube oh this new feature came that came i have this new feature it is very very impressive but all the features that android gets in their new releases are from custom roms now when the custom rom support when the routing support for android phones is lost they are going to lose the features that will be added in the next release of android open source community has contributed a lot to the android development android's development would not have been possible without the open source so open source communities uh, contributions now they want to lock out this open source community by bringing in the rubbish called as google play services no that is not at all good so what is what can be done you can never reason with google google never changes google services are on the decline google search engine it is not providing good uh, search results it is very very rubbish as of now it is just giving some ads so first two post will uh, two or three posts will be ads 
and then there will be more SEO optimized content. So a search engine optimization, another very, very stupid thing, search engine optimization. So if you want people to, uh, if you search something, some people know they do uh, courses for this, for search engine optimization so that they can show their rubbish, uh, rubbish websites on Google search in the first page. People get paid for that. People get paid a lot of money to do search engine optimization for a rubbish website. So Google is on the decline. There is no reasoning with Google. You can never reason with Google. They never change. They kill a lot of services and in the future they may kill Android as well. Now, what is the alternative? So what I am thinking is, what I am thinking, why not move to Linux mobile? There are so many reasons why not because Linux mobile is not a polished experience like the Linux desktop. It is in very, very early alpha development stages. Now I would like to see a lot of development in the Linux mobile field. Linux is open source and Linux is always going to be open source. And when we start to use Linux, Linux is completely different. Nobody is going to own Linux and even if they do own Linux, for example, Linus Torvalds, he is the, uh, he is the author of Linux and even if he tries to do something, even if he tries to do something, make his uh, Linux kernel uh, proprietary, he is not going to do that. Even if he does that, it doesn't matter. Linux has a very strong community. So when you use a Linux phone, you are not tied to anything. The firmware is unlocked. You don't have to worry about that on Linux phones. And I, we need more Linux op mobile operating system. As of now, there is a post market OS, there is Ubuntu Touch. There are some other uh, uh, mobile uh, Linux operating systems, but we need a lot of development there. Especially we need a lot of mobile specific applications over on the Linux mobile front. So since Android is on the decline, I am planning to buy uh, my next phone that I am going to buy will be a Linux phone. That's it. No matter how much they have developed, let us contribute to the development. If we will stay outside and we will be thinking, okay, let Linux develop properly. Afterwards, I will buy it. Then who will make the purchase? Who will pay some money so that they can do better development. So if I buy that Linux phone, I can do some development on that. I will figure out what is wrong. I will do some things and I can contribute to both financially and also in a develop from a development standpoint. So that's what I'm thinking. So I don't have a lot of faith in Android. I really like Android. I'm a huge fan of Android. I have never used iPhone. I have seen iPhone. I have I've never used means I've never used it as my personal even the looks of it i don't like it so but i like android very much for one simple reason it is open source and it allows me to do a lot of customization it allows me to have a lot of control but when they start to stifle that control that i have over my phone that i can get over my phone even if they don't give it i can get it through the process of unlocking my bootloader and rooting my phone when they take it away, I am no longer interested in Android. So let's keep our fingers crossed. So this phone, as I already told, I'm using this phone for two years. It's been two years since I bought a new phone. This phone is going fantastic. If it works really like this, if I'm using custom ROMs, it's definitely going to fly like anything for another two years if the battery holds up. Now the battery is really fantastic. It gives two days of battery life. So no problem. No problem there. So as long as it works, I will be using this phone. But when I upgrade next, I am going to be using a Linux phone. So you can also do the same thing. You can also buy a Linux phone. Try to use it. Let's be the change. So people are more interested in complaining about others. They are not doing the change. Let everybody make the shift. Then I'll make the shift. And nobody is going to make the shift. So the bad state of Android, it is going to continue. It is still going, uh, it is going to deteriorate even further so let's move on to some other things and let's hope that android doesn't go backwards even further so that the custom rom development and the routing community it stays awake and routing because it stays even like it doesn't get any harder than this it stays 
as it is if it is like that people will still stay in android i will still love android but mostly it is going to go backwards so we have to find alternatives and we have to be ready to ditch android we have to be able to leave anything that is not good for us that's the thing we should not be tied down to anything if you are tied down to anything that's what the companies want so that you will be tied down to their ecosystem to their operating system so that they can make some changes that you don't like and still you will be using their products that should not be the case so if it is possible with you you can buy a linux phone even now it's not really great they even they tell that it is not fit for daily use you can buy it you can develop it maybe in the future just like linux desktop is polished you can use the linux desktop anybody can use a linux desktop operating system same way i hope that the linux mobile operating system also develops it becomes an alternative to the big two out there to the ios and to the android i hope that linux operating system becomes a viable alternative even even though so many people may not use it so linux on the desktop uh, it is not a uh, uh, it is not an operating system used by the majority of the people but still if you want to use linux on the desktop you can sure use it i don't care if the linux mobile operating system stays the same way i just want it to be a polished experience that can be used for your day to day tasks and i don't want it to be a very smooth experience where hundreds and thousands and millions of people are using the linux distributions uh, linux uh, mobile operating system i don't want linux to be the most popular linux uh, operating system in the world i just want it to be a usable uh, usable operating system just like it is on the desktop front so in the desktop front linux is really really fantastic linux is great but still most people don't use it i don't care i use it i like it that's what i want so thank you for listening to my rant on this thing if you really listened i am very very grateful to you and keep listening if you have the ability to subscribe to this podcast you can do that if you want to suggest any improvements if you want to suggest any topics especially you can do them in the comment section if it is available or you can do it by uh, co- contacting me in my email or through my mastodon which i have given in the sh- post description thank you for listening have a nice day